It's just five days until the Tour de France starts here in Leeds. And while it's likely to encourage more of us to jump on our bikes for the daily commute, are our roads safe enough for cyclists? Alan Carr broke his wrist, heel, collarbone and ribs when a car hit him a year ago. He was off work for six months, but it hasn't put him off. He still cycles 18 miles into Leeds most days. It, it was bad, but it's pretty rare, these sort of things. After, after the six months, personally, I felt I needed to get back on the bike, you know, to sort of beat the demons. It hasn't put me off, and I, I, I would have to say I would hope it wouldn't put other people off. You just have to be careful. It's accidents like this one caught on camera that show just how risky cycling can sometimes be, though luckily this cyclist was OK. 109 cyclists were killed in Britain last year, while 3,143 cyclists were seriously injured. Cycling legend and Olympic gold medalist Chris Boardman has himself worn the coveted Tour de France yellow jersey on three occasions. As British Cycling's policy advisor, he told me the benefits of cycling far outweigh the risks. At the moment, cycling accidents are still really, uh, fairly rare, um, but we need to also promote what it can do. I mean, we don't see the hidden deaths. 37,000 deaths a year from obesity-related illness, 15,000 related to pollution. So it can save a lot of lives if we switch the way we get around. Cycling is more popular than ever here in the UK. Nearly half of us own a bike, and more than three million of us cycle at least three times a week. But what do motorists think about more cyclists on our roads? I think it's a good good idea, you know, it's a good uh, form of exercise people can do with the weight loss and um, yeah, I, I generally like cyclists. I encourage it, providing it's safe. Some drive irresponsibly, as a lot of motorists do. I do think that some cyclists don't make themselves safe, they don't make themselves seen and a lot of drivers don't see them because they're cycling around dressed in black, no lights on etc. The government says it's doubled funding for cycling, spending £374 million, but with so many now calling for even safer roads, it may have to start putting even more money where its mouth is. Catherine Jacob, 5 News, Leeds.